Okay, yeah, you can hear me. All right. So everything started off or first started when I was about in preschool or kindergarten. I went to a uh, small, a elementary school in in Franklin where I used to live, and it was a it was a really it was a really small school. There wasn't that many kids. There was about a, a thousand kids in our school, and like we basically knew knew everybody. But um, I remember the first time that I ever got in trouble was was preschool or kindergarten. I don't, I don't remember. But we had a system that where you'd either get a green card, yellow card, or red card. I'm pretty sure some of you are familiar with that. But um, I I still remember the first time that I got a red card, and that that was. That was a really tough moment for me because I, I, I always loved school, well, before, but it, it used to be one of my favorite things to go to, to uh, or just have fun, get out of the house. My brother, I, I used to see my brothers go to school, and I would just stay home with my mom, and I would just like that, not do anything, no. and I'd always be like, oh, I want to go to school, mom, and then she's like, well, later on, you're going to not want to go, <laughs> and so I was like, yeah, probably, but I ended up going to school younger, and I, I, right now, I should probably be a sophomore, but... Um, uh, I, I remember the first time that I got a red card, and it affected me a lot because um, I remember that day I cried, and like I remember I had a crush on this girl. She sat right next to me, and I started crying. It was weird. But um, <laughs> I, I later on, I I used to think about the time that I first got my red red card, and and I used to always think, wow, even when I was a little kid, I was I was a bad kid, and it, I feel like in 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 some ways. That affected me because I later on started to see that I would escalate in doing a lot more things that I shouldn't be doing, and that's what I, I made me get in trouble a lot. And so I used to hang around with bad people, and like that affected the person I was. That affected the type of clothes I wore. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people uh, hang out with a certain group or certain like cult gang. I don't know. But uh, they, they, they wear off, like, similar clothes somewhat. But, but what I'm basically trying to say is that if you hang around with a certain type of people, you're going to probably end up being what they are. Or let's say you're, you really like video games. Let's say you join the video game club and you start becoming friends with everybody in the video game club and you're just, you become like those people. You, you start start talking about video games, you start playing more video games, you start being more open about it, and you just become like one of them. And I, I remember that I I, went, I came into a wrong group. I used to hang out with like 18 year old people when I was like seven, and they used to always like <laughs> go to the, the stores that I used to live by, by where, where I lived next to apartments. There used to be a bunch of stores, like a, like a really long line of stores, and they would always go around there just walking and talking to their friends and just standing outside of stores, and I, and I would join them for some reason. I don't really know why, but I used to do that, and uh, I started becoming like those people, and later on I realized that I had become someone who I didn't want to be. I had become someone that uh, would always get in trouble, someone that always find getting in trouble pleasurable. Like, I, I would always find it funny that, like, like, teachers would scream at me or yell at me and I'd just be like, yeah, cool story. But, and then, like, I ended up being in the office. Like, probably most of my school years has probably been inside either the, the suspension room or inside the dean's office, which is mostly what I remember. <laughs> but I feel like that affected my whole education. Like, I could think back until when I first got into trouble, and that's when I was like, wow, like, it doesn't, even if I try to be someone good, I'll probably end up not doing the right thing that they want me to do. So, um, be, being with people that you know are affecting you, and you know that are, are helping you, aren't helping you and are making you a bad person, is always a bad thing. So, that's a really big thing in your life, and I feel like if everybody looks back and would look forward and see, you know, what type of people do you want your kids to be, or what, what kind of kids do you want your kids to be around, and that, I feel like that would affect a lot 
about who you wanted them, or who you want to be, or who you wanted to be, and makes you think about before about what you had done, and maybe it'll help you change your future. Thank you.